Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Sunday to you that you are watching me. I believe you had a wonderful Sunday worship service in your respective church. Um, this is Sunday just with Victor. This is when we rub mind together on what we learned in our respective church. And uh, I believe everyone go to church and uh, you 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 are under your and under a message today and you learn a lot of things. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section on what we learned and what you want you you have for us. And I pray as we go into the in today Sunday the Sunday gist, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, today there are special people in our midst, and I would love to introduce him because he is a man of God, a man of His Word, a drama minister. Because I so much love him, and I want you to hear from him today. Because just let me start it for now. So I would like him to introduce himself to our listener. To start. Okay. Um. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Abisu Joseph Oluwafemi. And by the grace of God, I'm a drama minister. So thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, before we begin, let's have a short break. Bye for now. Welcome back. Um, let's go through to the uh, today Sunday gist. Mm, today Sunday gist topic is what do you understand by vow and tithe? You might be thinking within yourself, maybe two of these words they are the same thing, or they are just like it just different. They have different meaning because they have you can you can't call two of them the same thing. So, vow and tithe, they are of different meaning. So, we are going to explain two of them. And our guest minister, I know he's full of it. He will explain everything for us today. So, I'm going to ask him the question. And, and I believe, by the grace of God, he'll be able to tell you some good of it. Um, sir, I want you to just tell us the, the meaning of vow and the, the meaning of tithe. Well, um, vows are actually religious promises made to God. Why tithe is one tenth of our income, of our profit. So those are the those are the two simple definitions for both vows and tithes. Wow. Thank you very much. I believe you have learned something from what our pastor has said just now, and uh, I you I grab something from what he said. He said. Vow is the promises we make to God, like promises, just like promises. And tight, to me, from what he said, it's just the percentage of a particular amount, maybe, um, maybe from the salary or any money you you are giving, just the percentage of the money. That's one thing. That's what he meant by one thing of something. And I pray the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. God has already done a lot of things for us, and I I can't lie to you. It's not everything you have you spend on yourself. Try to remember the God that created you. To you know, is is the first person to establish like we like this before before we 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 in the position where we are today. Before we we, we get to where we are today, is the one that created us. So we must remember his project, maybe in the church of God, or to help lives, or to and all those all those things. Maybe in the church of God, they even said, "I uh, want to do this, we want to do this." And you yourself, you have the money in your pocket to give, but because of selfishness, because of ah, I don't want this money to just go like that. You can, I can't give this much amount because I had a lot of people. They said they want to give the church of God one million. They want to give the church one hundred. And that's where some people they cannot give on the net, come on the net to God. Now, you might be thinking, what am I saying? What is the tithe I'm talking about? Now let's do a calculation. And I want you to help me. Now, 
what's the tithe of 1,000? Yeah? You want to give God 1,000. Eh? The tithe of 1,000. Maybe you're giving a salary. That like, this is your salary. 10,000. Yeah? So what's the calculation? Like, what, what are we going to do? What's the tithe of 10,000? Yeah? Now, when you have 10,000, and when you're giving uh, a salary or your profit, your income is 10,000. Yeah? Now, and we said God demands one tenth. Out of 10,000, that will be 1 over 10 times 10,000 Naira. So, 1 zero will cancel what? 1 zero. So, it will be what? It will mean what? 1,000 Naira. So, the one tenth of your 10,000 Naira is what? It's just 1,000 Naira. So, if it is 20,000 Naira, the one tenth is what? Just 2,000 Naira. That is what God is just demanding. Can you see? So, I don't want to. Don't make any excuse. They give you 1,000 Naira. Now from some to make a place. What we now make you know to remove just common hundred naira. It's very too small. Even when you want to buy just recharge cards or data or anything, hundred naira is too small. Even for God, it's even like it deserves more from us. For us being alive, it's not by our power, it's not by our strength. He cannot collect money from you. He cannot collect pay water from you. He cannot collect hours from you. But your praises, your money, your substance you are giving to help the propagation of God is a means of giving worship praises to God. And I don't want you, I don't want to deceive you today. I will urge you at this time. You are listening to this so that you will learn something. Don't just watch this video for watching sake. Anything you will feel like ah, this thing, I can still give you to or any tithe you can just give maybe to for the propagation of God. Give. Because there's a lot of story, there's a lot of testimony. When other other like a lot of people, they don't have anything with them. But when they give tithe to God, even some people they give their last pen to God. Like, this is what I have for you. This is for you, God, and they give it to God. And if, if people might think that they are suffering, people might think that they are they are foolish. Because when you give something to God sometimes, it will look as if you yourself, are you out of your sense? Do people see you as some, somebody that has sense at all? And I will tell you, when you do it, God has a way of rewarding you back. And I pray the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Say amen now. Amen. amen. Um, before we end, before we hand everything, I don't know, maybe before I say my the last thing I will give to you. I don't know, maybe our guests um, well, uh, will say we have something to say. In Leviticus chapter 27 verse 30, the Bible was actually saying something here. And the Bible was talking about, it is not only your money you can give. You can also give you land. You can give anything. But the Bible said something. It said, as far it is holy, now we should make sure we should know that the giver must be holy, and what you are giving is also holy. You cannot be doing a dirty business, a dirty job, and the money you are getting from those dirty jobs and dirty business, you are giving it unto God. This is an abomination. So for you to give and to receive blessing from God, one you have to be holy, and what you are giving also must be what must be holy. And you should note that it is not only money. You can give land to the church for the um, for the growth of the church of God. You can give your skills. You can give your anything, anything, anything you have. You can give it just for the growth of the church, just for God. And make sure when you are doing this, make sure you do yourself you are holy, so that you will not give and still be great. If you are, and when you are giving, make sure you are You see some people that will, they will go and steal and they will come to church with the pain title. That is an abomination. They are bringing cause upon themselves. So that is what I have to say for now. Thank you very much, sir. Ah, God, he has said a lot of powerful words in what he was saying. In one second, in within your heart, that place that you are, tell God, I want to be holy. I want to be holy. And you will be holy in Jesus. That means before you can give anything from God and you will receive your reward from God, you will be yourself and what you are giving must be good. To wrap everything up today, I want you to maybe you can open it with it. I have my Bible with me. 
And Malachi chapter 3, verse 8. I will read verse 8, 9, and 10 for you. And that's all. He said, Will a man rob God? Yet he have robbed me. But he say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tight and offering. That's the only way you can rob God. God can never be mocked or be deceived. The only way you can rob God is when you are not giving him tight and offering. So learn that please. And in verse 9 said, Ye are co- ye are cost, cost with a cost. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the saw house, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now, ye with said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Ah, Jesus of Nazareth, God. See what is said, what saying like the Bible was saying here. It was saying when you give to God, when you, you don't even there's no way you are robbing God by your tithe and offering and every of that. A lot of blessing are meant for you. The windows of heaven will be opened upon your life. And if you want this thing to happen to your own life that you are watching us right now, you have to do the needful. Pay your tithes. Do but do like give to God for the propagation and establishment. I pray the Lord will help you, Jesus. Amen. Your first fruit is necessary. Your first fruit is necessary. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Um, I don't know, maybe you have a question. And anywhere around this video, you can just put your question there. We have a lot of people that will answer and everything. And I pray the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Next week, Sunday is another time. Sunday just beginning and I pray the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. And I wanted to thank our guest minister when you have just thank him in the conversation and everything because he's a man of uh, man of his word and he has given he has dispensed some things to us this evening. Me myself, I was blessed and I know you are blessed already. Thank you very much. Bye.